Many times children fall. Many times children fall into dangerous things. Sometimes kids touch fire. Sometimes kids touch fire and they cry. Sometimes they fall from uh, maybe they cry by chair and fall down. And they cry. Before a child mature, the child literally cry and the parent are faced with every time cuddling the baby. Sometimes they ask the children to hospital. Sometimes children, the every every poisonous info, uh, we buy like pesticide, uh, um, pesticide we buy or herbicide we buy for killing uh, pests at home. Everything, every chemical is written. Keep away from children because children they do not know what is right or wrong, that what is danger and is not. They don't know what is danger and what is not danger. They don't know what is right and what is wrong. When you go to primary school, there is a lot of rules. When you go to high school, there is a lot of rules. When you go to uni, so primary has more rules than high school. High school has more rules than college. College has less rules than university. Has more rules than university. The higher you go, the rest they lose. And when you are adult, the rules are there, but they are, you are not followed 24-7. Where are you? Are you driving? Are you drinking driving? Are you do are you are you are you steering? But the law is there and he, 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 the law you should expect it to know it and you suffer consequence if you break the law. But the children they are not just they are not told you know the law. They have to keep being watched 24-7. The kids have to be watched all the time. Especially the young one, especially a child less than one year, especially a child like six months. They, they go everywhere. If you live in very uh, industrialized nation, like developed nation, you are given, you can buy things in supermarket to lock the cupboard, to lock the toilet uh, seat. You lock it so the child does not put hand in the seat, in the toilet. Children even put hand in the toilet and start drinking the water in the toilet tub. Imagine children, our children. They drink water inside, a tar, uh, inside the toilet and they can put hand in the toilet inside. They can catch a dangerous thing like a, like a knife. They don't know. They don't know what is right or wrong. Children need guidance and they need 24-7 eye watch. They need to be watched. When you, you live in developed nation, even in high school, primary, the children are watched even at school 24-7. Children need to be watched because they can land up to long things. They can hurt themselves. Our pay, you are a parent there. You have been taking children to hospital, cradling children, putting bandage. If you teach like primary school, all the time you're on duty is putting bandages to kids. They fall. This is the word of God and inspiration as brought to you by Jesus Shetan YouTube channel and as inspired by the spirit of Jesus. The word of God is about the gift. A gift is a gift that is given by God. It says James 1.17. A gift that comes from God, it is a gift and doesn't change. God says he has no shadow of turning. He doesn't shift his shadow. That is James chapter 1 verse 17. That the true gift comes from the Father from heaven a God who have no shifting of shadows the key message is you should play why you should play for your spouse for your future spouse and for your children about their future spouse we need to pray for our children you are there you have a child which is a 22 years he is 18 Soon they will start uh, pairing up and looking for boyfriend, girlfriend to marry. Why you need to pray? This is a message. Why you need to pray? Not only for your children, but even for yourself, you need to marry. Especially if you are a bachelor and you have not married. Why do you need to pray and seek God guidance 24-7 before making decision to marry? And pray for your children, for their super sp future spouse. And we are going also to read the Bible and, and use the Bible in the book of Hosea 4.6. And it says that my people 
harassed because they don't know. My people fall because they don't know. Children, they fell, they fall on dangerous things because they don't know. Children fall and they can catch fire. They can touch fire, children. Our children, our kids can touch fire because they don't know. They can put hand in the toilet because they don't know they can get disease. The Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, my people fail in life, fall, end up in hell. They live and marry wrong people because they don't know. It's because of not knowing. It is the knowing the problem. Why people don't know they need to believe in God is because they don't know. Jesus came and went back. Without knowing this is our savior, this is our solution. It is not the money. It is Jesus our solution for everything we need. Jesus came, John chapter 1, verse 1 to 11. It says that Jesus came for his people. He was for them. He was their deliverer. He was their solution. He was their healing. He was the healer. He was the director. He was their money. He was their sense of be well-being. He was their peace. He was their happiness. And Jesus came and went back without knowing that Jesus was for them, for the every solution they needed in life. And was their God. And as we speak, and in a matter of fact, as we speak, the Bible say in Revelation 19:16. Whether you like it or not, whether you see there is no God, why the weather, whether it says Jesus is the King of everyone and Lord of all Lord. And the Bible says, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess, even the devil worship, even the main devil, even the main the ringleader of devil religion. They will bow one day and say, Jesus is Lord. Even those who, critic, who sit like critic and an antichrist, and leading men to way of darkness, they will bow. There is a song that say, every knee. So that song is sung by uh, Lilad or Lilad or they sing, uh, who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? And then say, every knee shall bow. And there's a song we used to sing in Kenya, in Swahili and in English. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Whether you like it or not, one day you stand as a critic in the kingdom of God. And calling mental, people of God mentally sick. One day you kneel before God and say he's Lord. Even the Satan himself and the devil worshippers. This is the message of the word of God. I'm going to start by an example, an analogy, not even an analogy, it's a little example. Why do you need to pray for your spouse? Why do you need to pray for your future spouse? Why should you not make a decision to marry because you are aging? Why should you not make a decision and marry and lie to any man or woman because you are aging? Because... Especially ladies, you are getting 45. And after 45, you can get a baby, the menopause. And then you lie to any man. Why? I give you an example. And you know many examples. You know many. There is one lady I know. I know. And I knew her for many years. There was a problem of marriage. They, were, uh, they had some mis mis misunderstanding. Uh, or a dispute or uh, and misunderstanding. So the mother of the lady came for his daughter and said, let's go with you because they were not coping with the husband. Husband was working in a butchery or abattoir. In Australia, they say abattoir or butchery. He had knives. So he said when they were on the gate going, can you come back? I tell you something. Then he cut the lady in the head and he put in, when she, the lady went inside, he cut the lady, the head, head of the lady, and he told her, his mother, her mother, uh, here, here is your daughter, and he showed him the head. That's how dangerous it can be, marrying long numbers. That the Bible says, James 1:17, a true gift 
God cannot give you somebody and cut your head. God can, cannot give you a woman or a husband and plan for your mother and cut your head and cut your sister. That is your, your daughter and he's already cut head. That is not a man you are given by God. That's not a, a, woman, a man you are given by God. The Bible says in James 1, 17, a true gift, a true wife, a true job, a true praise come from Jesus who never change in what he says. Remember the message, why you should play for your future spouse. Why you should pray for your children to get the right spouse whom God will give them as their right kids. Remember that lady, her mom went for her. It could, if it was, it was true husband, who read the lady go, it happened all the time. Women go away and sometimes people separate them back together. That's normal. It's, sometimes it's good to have a time out and have a time of refreshing. That's why even we have jail, jail, prison, even school have detention for children who are doing wrong things. Jail is not for punishment. It's an area of rehabilitation, a jail. When you go to jail, criminals are put to jail to rehabilitate them because they become dangerous to live in their society. Sometimes they are sick people. Most people who kill people, they are sick. Those who commit suicide, they are already sick in their head. Those who commit murder, they are sick. They need a rehabilitation. That's why they are taken to jail. They are not normal. No normal person has humanity can kill the other human. So sometimes it's better as a family to separate if it's too much. So the lady, maybe if it was true, man, he would allow that separation for a while because even when they go to, to give a divorce, you cannot get divorce automatically. The government knows sometimes people make decisions quickly. You are allowed to separate a little bit. Uh, the, the requirement for divorce, you, have, you must have shown, you must show you have sep lived separate, completely separated for two years or more. Sometimes people make it, they say, I will never come back. And, they, they are, and because of, they are not waiting to settle. It's good to settle down. Sometimes if something is disturbing you, walk around. Go. Take a walk. Learn. Take a lap. Drive bicycle. If you are doing math mathematics and you're not getting the answer, don't get discouraged and start uh, doing wrong things or stay mentally sick. Just walk around. Move. Do what you like. Watch a movie. Play piano if you are, you are a singer, sing a song. Why you need to pray for your spouse? You are a bachelor there. Somebody there was left by her husband or wife and you want to remarry again. Even, even though people think they have experience, I have experience because we say experience is the best teacher. But I have seen many people who are remarried, but the later they were crying and crying and crying because they were frustrated. They were trying to frustrate the other one. Oh, you did this to me. I'll marry another person and you see. Then the devil give him the, the one who finished where. That is where you are remaining. The one you marry finished where you are remaining. Because marriage can be difficult. And you think you remarry to punish the other one. Satan give you now the right one who finish you completely. I have many of my friends I know. I know. They remarried and they, they, they didn't work. They, they, are, they, are, they are still single even today. And they remarried again. Yes, we have people who are remarried and it work. But it, it is, there is a lot of testimony people, do, it doesn't work. Others it has worked, but they became slaves. You pay child support to the first wife, children, and the second one. Especially if you remarry and you marry a young girl, you you new queen, you you get it. You will see the fire. You marry a young girl, eh? and and you say uh, uh, new queen, I will marry another a, a, a young girl of 25 years, 22. Then women are like are a set right, or there's another woman the other side. He may go back to the other one. And give you children, bang, 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 bang. Five children, seven children. And sometimes they go away also and they may put child support for you. You became a slave. Paying child support for two, two families. You become a slave forever and no wife for you. Because this is her highway. That's why God said, I hate divorce. 
because of the suffering children. And people who cheat in marriages and they make children and then after, they are not interested and children suffer because of their decision. You, you make it decision with somebody, honest woman, honest man who wanted family, then you knew you didn't want family, you want children, then children will live without father, children will live without mother. These people buy houses, they, they buy assets, they are very rich but they are not happy. Because Satan has things, Satan has money. Because some, they are cheated by the enemy, money. They are so children, uh, John the Baptist called them the snake generation. John the Baptist said, new children, generation of snake, snake generation. Because the enemy make them see refraction. Refraction, when you see, you put a pen in water, in a grass, you see like it's bent, but it's not. They see erosion images. Because they are snake children. That life is money. Life is money, and we know Jesus was given money by Satan. So many devil worshippers, they are so rich. You wonder, why am I not rich? But the, the devil give you money and take a blood. There is no free things from the enemy. Anything not from the devil is full of cry and turmoil. Anything not from God. That the Bible is saying, James 1, 17, true gifts come from God who never change in what he means. And also God is saying in Isaiah chapter 4, 55 from 9 to 12 that God whatever he mean he mean it as rain come and make hope grow God's what he say must happen it must happen so why you need to marry to pray for your spouse and for children to we need to pray for our children our children make decision even as we made and many people have made, and you realize many decisions in life, not only marriage, and you realize after going through experience, you know now. That's why the Bible says, my people perish because they don't know. My people perish because they don't know. Also, James 8.32 says that, James 8.32 says, you shall know the truth and you'll be free. So see, the same verses say, talking about the same thing. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. So it's when you know you'll not be, you'll be free from being cheated in marriages. You'll be, be free not to marry quickly just because you're aging. You'll be free from making decisions out of your own thinking and without seeking God's guidance. The Bible says in Proverbs, 5, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, seek God's guidance in everything you do and you direct your step. Acknowledge your God in, every, in everything you do. There's another verse also say that. And God will automatically direct your step. It is God who guides us. But many times we drive ourselves. God say, don't marry this person. You say, no. God is speaking, no. Don't make a decision now. It's not yet, no. You just open, pray, and your hands is not crossed. Your eyes are not crossed. Samson was told, don't marry the leader. He was told, he was told, he didn't listen. Though he won, he, he won at, at last he won. He died without eyes because of marrying wrong numbers. Why you need to pray? And we are speaking. This is first message, and God, as He reads, as and the Spirit of God speak to us to speak this message. We are going to bring this word, Jesus shared YouTube channel, about why you need to pray for your spouse. Why you need to pray for your children, so you don't be like that woman. Who was going to save her daughter from the domestic violence, but the man could not withstand being left by the lady. So he called the lady and cut the head and told her mother, uh, take your daughter. He gave the, the mother the head of the daughter. What a pain. What a, what, a, what a pain can you see your daughter being cut and you are shown the head of your daughter. What a pain is that? What a pain is that? What, what a grief is that? What a grief. There are people who are merciless. They can hold stress. They cannot. We have seen many people you have heard, even in my country, Kenya, I have seen. Because of being, being domestic violence, they kill themselves and they kill the whole family. They put themselves in a hole. They are mad people. They are sick people, totally sick. They are not normal. You must pray people who listen normally. Who, people, normal people are those who seek God's guidance. Normal people are those who walk with the Spirit of God. 
Normal people are those who has conscience. They, they have medical to create well, ta- the things you say taboo. There are some things you can't do because of the value you are put to heaven values, godly values. That you can't murder somebody. You can't kill somebody. You have values that you cannot do wrong to somebody. You cannot plan your, wife, your husband to be, to be robbed by your family. You cannot plan for your husband to be robbed and bankrupt by your brother and sister or your family. You cannot plan for the murder of your wife. You cannot plan for your wife to be, to be, to be robbed and sweep, sweep the money. There's people you marry and they, they, all they do is to take money to their family. They're not interested with you, just you are machine to remove jam in their family. They are not human. They see you like they are slave. You become, you, you're marrying somebody to make you slave. You are slave of the, and, and to redeem jam in their family. And misuse you. Use you to get children. Use you to study. Use you to build things and have assets and finally kill you. They are total human in human. The Bible say that the people who are normal, you need to marry a normal person. A normal person who has values of God. A normal person even if you have a lot of problem of marriage and domestic violence and sort of misunderstanding in the family. Even though we have a lot of misunderstanding because sometimes there is a time of fire. Fire, marriage, certain fighters through marriages. Even when the fire come, this person will not plan. And evil things on you. The enemy fight us using our family, our brother, our sister. And when that fire come, that person will not side with their family and destroy you. I've seen people have helped people to come abroad. I've seen so many. And you bring this family of your in rows and they tell you leave your spouse. A true spouse can leave, cannot collaborate. To destroy her own spouse. That's what the Bible says. You need to know why you need to pray. Why do you need to pray? Don't just make a decision. Don't just marry. Don't just marry. Don't just buy any car. Some car have no engine. Don't buy, don't just buy any car you see in the market. Some people sell are selling the car. They sell and you see they put the outside body so good. But engine is no, it's nothing. It will keep you going to the, to the mechanic every week. It's not every car you see good outside is good. It's not just to see yourself on the road with a car. Not every car is a car for you. Not every woman is a, can make a wife. Not every man you see can be your husband. You need to know that. That the true gift comes from God. James 1.17 A true wife will come from God. A true husband comes from God. You have one wife made for you by God. You have one man who is your key. You must play. It is like a card. It's like a game. It's like a chase you're playing. It's like tennis to score. It's like a it's, it's like that you're playing to hit the bull eye. You have to keep praying and praying to discover. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a treasure that was hidden in the field. You have to seek for it until you find it. So you have to pray and fast every day, fight for your crown to enter heaven. Even in wife and husband, it's like a treasure hidden somewhere. You have to pray and pray and pray and seek and fast until you see a God voice and give you a key. A key who let you, if you are made to be a motivation speaker, he let you do it. If you are a soccer player and you like sport, you like watching movies, you like watching news, your, your key is uh, singing. Your key is serving in the church. Your key is running a ministry in the kingdom of God. Your key is preaching. Your key is singing, or, it, it is singing, singing and building people. She or he will let you do it. And one singer, celebrity, every song she sings is a hit. And I will not mention her. I know through my country. She left her husband purely. I think she married the wrong man. The man, the woman started singing when she was a baby. Her song, if you check YouTube channel, even when she was young, they are still hit. They are still anointed song of the God. So when he married this man, who met this woman already? Getting money. The Bible says, if you work in area of your gifting, your money will work for you. We should work in area we are talented in. 
So this, this woman has been getting money through singing. And it's her talent she was given by God. And that's what she, she has never been employed. She get money from singing. He married a man who said, stop singing. And when she's going to perform, she's told, don't go. She left that man. Long, marrying long numbers. Another woman who is super anointed and known worldwide. She made the decision to marry a pastor just because he has money, only to know he was not a pastor. And found somebody who was hiring prostitutes to come and say they are healed. They turn their mouth, and when you pray for them, they return the mouth the other way, and they have been paid money. They are prostitutes, and they give testimony during the investigation that was done by Kenyan television, and they say they are healed. He was not even a false prophet. That was not a false prophet. It's somebody who was doing business for money. He was under money. He was, he was not even a false prophet. He was somebody just doing business. Just like those people who, who put a turban, white turban. In my country, we have people called Akorino. They wear a white turban. They are so religious and they sing. Their funeral is like wedding. They sing for the dead person and they live like a wedding. We know some criminal in Kenya. They are not in that church at all, at all, at all. And they are not part of that church. They put that turban and put marijuana inside. They put cocaine in their head and put the turban and, and, and drive bicycle singing uh, and singing. You are always fighting for love. They go singing. You, uh, they sing and sing the song of God. And they are going to sell marijuana, carrying it on the turban, white turban, like it's a, a somebody from God. And singing... And singing, we shall sing Hosanna. And driving bicycle quickly and they are going to sell marijuana. So they are not even false prophets, those people. They are just criminal and they, they put a turban and put a marijuana inside the turban, which signifies a holy person of a church called uh, Wakorino. Just we have like size, seen people in, in India, the way a turban is a religion. We have a religion in Christian in Kenya. Well, so so they, 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 some people use that and wear that thing and put marijuana inside. As some years back in Australia, they were saying, we are going to put law where Muslims, they have to remove their cover. Sometimes Muslims put cover in a way that you can see only eyes. Only eyes is left. You can't see who is that person. And they are usually women. I don't know, it's because before they get married, I don't know what is the the catch about it. But the government was saying, we are going to put a law where people they are not, will not be allowed to do put those masks. Why was government of Syria saying that? Because criminals, they are using those, wearing like that, like they are Muslim, and they are going to rob or steal or to, to do crime. Even there's a testimony in Kenya. A, a, a boy was working in a family. I saw in YouTube. Work and work and work, and that boy worked for many years, sleeping with girls in same bed, and he was a boy wearing Muslim clothes, like he's a Muslim girl. So sometimes people use masking in the name of God to do crime. That's why even Antichrist will mask with the, with the face of Christ to put the people number of the devil. The Antichrist is not one person. It's, there are so many people. The Bible says First John chapter 1, 2. First John chapter 2, there are so many Antichrists in this world. They mask in the name of God to do satanic work and enforce work of darkness in this world. Why you need to marry, to pray for your marriage, for your spouse, even for your children? Remember that mother I tell you. Her daughter was cut head. It was wrong number. The Bible says if you marry the, if you listen to God, you will marry somebody. If you listen to God and pray and fast. So the point is this. You have only one wife made for you by God in this world. Not two. One. You have only one husband. You is like a treasure. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a treasure hidden in a field. You must look until you get the treasure. That means to go to heaven, you must fight it. The Bible says since the days of John the Baptist, you must fight for your, for your crown of heaven. The Bible says in Revelation 3, I think verse 11 to 12, do not let anyone take your crown. How do you let people take your crown? They, for example, your family member and your spouse, you your, your, your know, can break your marriage, but they are not after breaking your marriage. They are after taking your crown. They are dethroning your crown of heaven. If you are a saint, you must know how spiritual warfare works. The enemy knows is most likely if you split marriage.
most likely these people will not make to heaven. Spirit in marriage, and if your marriage was broken, doesn't mean you not go to heaven. There are so many people married going to hell. In fact, so many people who are going to hell are in marriage and their marriage are working. Because why? Because people, when things are doing well, they forget God. And Jesus said, when you are rich, when you get good marriage and a happy family, when you go to Australia, Canada, Canada, Norway, Denmark, remember me. When you build fine houses and you are promoted to be a manager, when you become a president, remember me. People tend to leave God when things are working. That's why I say, don't think people who are in marriage, they are going to heaven. Most of them, they are going to hell. Go right because they are married, things are all right. When things are all right, the Bible says, rich people, it's very hard to enter heaven. As hard as camel going through the need to hold. Rich people does not only mean rich people. It's people who things are doing well. They tend to go away. Look at people going problem. I remember one president who was not religious in my country, President Kibaki. One time he was voted, his referendum failed. Even his minister, some of them voted against the referendum. And he has to suck them out, remove them and put a new one. So the president that time, he said, let's go and play. It's when people are, are going problem, they remember God. He was shaken in his leadership. And he saw so, so like he can even be hoisted out of the seat. If they can fail a government referendum, then he, he was insecure. He thought, now, uh, the next thing is, I'll be removed out of seat. So he, the next thing, the next day, or that day, he sacked the minister and put a new one. And he said, let's go to Uhuru Park where people pray a big, a big field. Let's go and pray. It is when people have things are working, they leave God. I am saying, you must know how spiritual warfare work. The Bible says, do not let your crown of heaven go with anybody. How does it go? People come in row and destroy your marriage. Remember, or your, your family member. Remember, like Joseph was sold by his brother. There is nothing new I'm saying. There's no rocket science in the word of God that spirit of God reveal. It is real and powerful and real. The people say the word of God is powerful and like a sword by seeing division of soul and marrow. Joseph was sold by his brother, so he fell. He fell. As I was told, a uh, brother, so he fell. He fell by his brother. Hannah was tormented by Kawhi, uh, so he, she fell. And the, remember, a Satan who used people. Jesus was fallen by his own Christian, so he fell. Joseph was so by his brothers, to, so he fell. Not, not in life he became mentally sick, but to fall in heaven destiny. You must know how the enemy works. When, do not let your crown go. That is the point the spirit of God is reading now. That don't let your crown go. Revelation 3, is 11 to 12. How you let your crown go. The enemy destroy your marriage and take away your children. Remember the Bible says anointed people, holy people will be robbed. The saints of God. Anybody want to live holy and want to live holy life. They will take what belongs to you. That is Daniel 9. Isaiah 51, Ezekiel 37, they will take you, cut you off from where you belong. So you fall in Christianity. The idea is to remove you out of God and miss heaven. How do you let your crown go? When the enemy managed to destroy what belongs to you, like Job, you must stick to the branch, Jesus. The Bible says in, in Psalms 11, 3, when everything is taken off you, your hand is taken, your leg, you can walk, your family is taken, your children, your wife, your job, it is for you fall. The Bible says, when the foundation are destroyed, if Psalms 11, 3, you must rely on God. What do Christians do when the foundation are destroyed? What did Job do and he won it? What did Paul do? He was made to live not like other people. You have to live in jail, not to enjoy life. He didn't have a family. He didn't have anything, nothing. He, he made it. He relied on God. Job made it. Daniel made it. Jesus made it. Joseph made it. They were all cut off. The intention of the devil is to miss you, to miss hell, miss heaven. So the crown is taken. The enemy know if I remove what support people in life in the world. For example, I take away family. I break family. I break, remember, the Bible says in Daniel 12, they will break the power of the holy people. How will they be breaking the power of the holy people? It's to take physical things. 
that make us stand. So you give up in your Christianity. For example, Job was taken everything off him. Any material things were taken off away. Joseph was taken away from his family. So he fell in his spirituality. Whenever any man take anything physical from you, Job, family, your mortgage went away with a wife. Many developed nation women say, I have a new boyfriend. And then say, I don't want this man. So woman is left. Uh, uh, and it's, it makes sense that woman live in the house because he has the children. They are young. So man is left and start walking away in the street. When the enemy is, is, does this, is to make you get discouraged in your Christianity. And the enemy know when mortgage he paid is gone. He paid the whole mortgage and is taken. He bought car, is given to wife when they were dividing things. He, he, he feels so down because he doesn't have support. Root is not there. Foundation is destroyed. In Psalms 11, when foundation are gone, what do you do? The enemy know you not walk in a straight line. The woman in Isaiah 51, he was staggering. Why was he staggering? His children were not there to help him. They were used to hit the woman. The woman wanted to stay in the lock. The woman was cut off from where the lock she belonged. The lock was God. He was cut off from branch of God. Isaiah 51, you woman who wanted to live holy, you want to live holy life. They took away your family. They took away, they spoiled your wife or managed you or connected you to someone who failed your people who failed you. Remember Daniel eleven seventeen. it says you'll be given daughter in honor marriage to fail the kingdom. While these things happen, the enemy, the history repeats itself. That they will give him a daughter in honor marriage to fail the kingdom. But if you stay in Jesus, the Bible says he will not succeed. A daughter can be one person or many people given it can be people you help to come abroad. They are used as daughter to fear the kingdom. In honor of marriage to fear the kingdom. The kingdom. Which kingdom? Heaven kingdom. Remember, everything is spiritual. The enemy is nothing he is after but heaven. The enemy war is heaven. Six, six war is heaven. Six, 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 six war is only on the saints, remember? It's only on the saints because people of Satan... They already have six. Six is sin. So six, six war. It's only on the saints. How can we make them have satanic number of sin? So I read Daniel eleven seventeen NIV Bible twenty eleven say he will determine to come with the, the might of his entire kingdom and he will make an alliance with the king of the south and he will give him a daughter in marriage in order to overthrow the kingdom but his plan will not succeed or help him. Do you think this is talking about those days? Yes, it happened, and the people they prove history. It happened what they say here, but it will repeat. Even you read Daniel eleven thirty two. It will repeat. Because Daniel speaks of the future. When you read Daniel chapter 12, see, it is for the future. What you are wrote in Daniel is for the future. Remember, when church was destroying the Bible, the church that was built by David, which was built by Solomon, it, it is now destroying Christ out of you. Yes, physical building, the church that was built was destroyed. And rebuilt again. Remember, that is physical to represent spiritual in future. Now, the church will be destroyed if the Christ in you, the power, the need to live holy, then he won't desolate you. Live dry without the word of God. Dry. How does the enemy make you live dry? It's to take what belongs to you. You get, you live secular life. Or it doesn't have to, remember, it's, it's not always taking away. The enemy can make you live in Facebook, YouTube, watching glamorous images, or watching movie, movie, or living normal life. You are not sinning. You don't think you are sin, but you are not devoted to God. Just working, working, making money, buying houses, buying houses. You are desolated. Living dry without the word of God. And show you is money. Life is money and buying houses. And so you die before you have Christ in you. So Jen, 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 uh, Daniel 11, that you say, with the flattery, they will corrupt those who have violated the covenant. But the people who know their goal will resist him firmly and do exploit. There's another one say they will do exploit. Those who are wise, that the three will extract many, though for a time, will fall with a sword. You see, up there, say, a daughter in honor marriage is talking like two kings or president. 
But when you read down there, it's speaking about uh, end time. We read that five is say some of the wise who stumble so that they may be refined, purified, and made spot until the time of the end, for it will still come at an appointed time. Remember, we are we have tracked a little bit. We are talking about don't let your crown go. The enemy, how he wanna take your crown off you is to take things that support your job. He he he, he threaten your job, he threaten your family. Remember the farmer planted good seed and his farm was spoiled and planted bad seeds. The enemy, you marry the right person and spoil. There's a group in Kenya kid Kamueredo for women. It spoil women. And they become naughty in marriages. And, it, and rebellious. So the enemy plant bad seed in your family. You marry a good person, then you see this is the same person. They are spoiled and corrupted for your downfall. They are spoiled and corrupted for your downfall. So remember, remember that the enemy is after destroying you, nothing else. So we have off tracked and we are saying we have gone off track, but we are talking about crown. How do you take, make sure your crown doesn't go? How? When things are taken that support people in life, fam especially fa family, there is the one that fair many people, they resort to a prostitution, drinking alcohol and a mental sickness. And they remarry, they marry wrong people, or they have diff other women. So you, the idea is not to go to heaven. That's how crown is taken. Don't let your crown be taken. How? By living holy. Living without a family does not mean you, you not go to heaven. It is the holiness. Whether you're in marriage or not, whether your marriage is working or not, whether you preach or not, whether you are given position in the church or not, whether your pastor favor you or not, whether you are favor in the church, you are the one to lead, you are the one to play instrument. Whether you are favor and tick by people, it doesn't matter. Whether your family is working or not, whether your children are good, whether your wife is good, it doesn't matter. What matters is holiness. Are you living holy? Are you acceptable by God? Tick by people means nothing. Jesus was not ticked by anybody. The Bible says, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, consider Jesus, verse 1 to 5, consider Jesus who was opposed by everyone, but he passed and made it. Don't give up, even though you're not recognized in your church. You're not recognized in the community. Remember, the enemy will be ticking wrong people. That's Daniel chapter 11. So you give up in your Christianity. This is part one, and we'll bring part two later about you must marry, you must pray for your spouse because there is only one person who is given by God for you. And you need to know he's somewhere. It's like a hidden treasure. You must pray and pray till you hear the voice of God. The Bible says in the Proverb verse Three, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in God with all your heart. Lean not, lean, lean not in your own understanding. In all your way, acknowledge Jesus. And he will direct you. Where? To the right spouse. Where? To the right place. Where? To the right country. Where? To the right marriage. Where? To the right uh, mentor. Where? To the right community. To the right church. Lean not in your own understanding. And he will lead you to the right woman to marry. Right man to marry he will never it doesn't matter what fire came in your family he will never plan for your mother he will never plan any evil against you and cheat police and cheat the law and you are in prison remember delira he cheated and put his husband on on, on enemy of god he sold he he, he sold she sold her husband she was not meant for to marry and to be the wife of Samson. It was not meant to be wife of Samson. So you must make sure that you must make sure that you pray, don't just make decisions. Otherwise, you will end up in danger. And more important, you will miss heaven if you're not careful because you'll be given someone who will fail you so you miss heaven. You need to pray 
So you get somebody who will work together with you. Every night you can pray together, pray and fast, have time family fellowship together, have family fellowship, and uh, you support each other in life. In everything you do, you support each other. Otherwise, if you don't pray, you will marry wrong people who will plan for your murder, for your imprisonment, for your living in bankruptcy. It will become a prayer item. Um, <clears throat> Pastor Rusin Natasha, or Reverend Rusin Natasha says that, you should say, don't marry somebody who become a prayer item. Marry a person who will be your prayer partner, not a prayer item. Every time is prayer fasting for that person. Go ahead and do it. 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 When will I, when will I, I keep praying this man to stop drinking, stop going and having other women outside. How long will I pray for those women, to, to, a man, to stop drinking? How long will I pray? And you keep praying and fasting for your wife. To, to allow much care of children because he say I'm the head, I'm the husband, I'm the father of everything. They are refracted people. They see things in refraction. That life is uh, taking children for yourself. Life is money. So we must pray so that we get the light spouse who we are given by God. The true wife come from God. True husband come from God. That is James chapter 1 and I'm going to read James chapter 1 verse 17. James 1.17, James 1.17, James 1.17, and I read Bible 2011, and it says that, uh, James 1.17, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadow. Also, Isaiah 55 says the same, from verse 9 to 11 there, or 12, that uh, God, what he say, he mean it. When they say, I have given you Peter, he mean it. I have given you Skorastika, it's your wife, he mean it. This job is yours, he mean it. That thing cannot be a problem and become your distract, distract, destructive weapon like Delira, like Joseph Brothers. Fake people, like Daniel Wackmitt, who put Daniel in the dance. You must listen to the still voice of God and... God is going to bless you and God is going to give you the true gift. Why you need to pray for the spouse, for your children, your spouse, for the future spouse, for your children, so that they run to the light key who make them fly, not walk, not run, not crawl. If you marry wrong people, you'll be crawling, you never walk. They will always put gear levers for you because they are not after your marriage. They are not after success. So, we must listen to the still voice of God. This is part one that we need to listen to the still voice of God. We need to listen to the still voice of God. We need to listen to the still voice of God and seek God guidance. That Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, seek God and lean, on, lean not in your own understanding. Don't just marry because you are aging. Don't just marry because you are pride a visa. And you want to go, ah, go to Kenya, the heck, I can't get in, I can't go to language. I go all the way to Kenya to marry somebody we are speaking the same language. Your wife is your wife, your husband is your husband, whether it's from another race. Don't just marry because I want somebody from my religion. Some, uh, somebody, yeah, for somebody from my religion, somebody from my culture, somebody, of course you should marry somebody from your religion, but don't just marry because you belong to your religion. What do you see? How can you see about this? So people, you can see people who take marijuana, drunk, and they live very happy with their family. They drink and they brew alcohol every day. Others are drug, drugs, others are thief, and they live together with their spouse very well. That means there are people who are your key. Why? Uh, the reason I'm saying this, why so many marriages of Christians don't work? So many divorces in Christian churches. And people do wedding and they are very holy people and within one month they have separated. In fact, as a matter of fact, and as we speak, I know one, one person I know is a celebrity. He married one night and they, are, they were both Christian. One night, the next day it was divorce. 
we need to know there are keys. Keys, every key opens its own door. Every lock is, has its own design key. You must pray to get your right design, your key. Who let you go and play soccer when you need to, at the time you used to, to do it. Who let you to be who God you created you to be. You must pray so you get somebody who make you to be and always be what God created you to be. You are a be, you are become, you have a something that belong to you. You are a motivation speaker. You are a chemist teacher. You are a singer. You are a pianist. You are a keyboardist. You are a pastor. You are a doctor. You are a pilot. He will write to you. You are a soccer player. You are a tennis player. He will write you to be what God created you to be. You are a community builder. You are a community deliverer. He will make you to be what God created you to be. That is the light key you belong to you. We have gift. God has given us gift. The Bible says, if you marry the right person, he read you to be what God created you to be. Um, and that those are the people spoken in the Proverbs 31, 10 to 31. They are called women of noble character. They read their husband to be who they were created to be. Remember, woman was coming to help the man to continue with the vision of the man. That's why the Bible, a true woman, Proverbs 14, 1, is the one who built her home, who read her husband to be. Proverbs 1, 10 to that one, is a woman who read her husband to be what husband was created to be. Every woman come to help the man in achieving the mission that man was given by God. And a woman became a helper. He was coming to help the man. He is a helper. But you marry a woman who became, you are a helper of the woman. That is removing the order of God. And all hell broke loose. No direction. The Bible says in, uh, I think Proverbs 29, 18, when peop uh, people have no di vision that this is my husband, so I am the husband. The woman put herself, I am the husband. When they don't have the revelation of the word of God, people, the family walk without direction. That is the book of Proverbs, and I read. You walk without direction. Aimlessly. Thinking you're in the right way, but you're in the hell highway. That there's a way that seems right to a man, but leads to destruction and death. Leading to hell. That if people don't have, and it's just we are speaking about Hosea 4, 6, lack of knowledge. It's spoken in many Bible verses in other ways, like Proverbs chapter 9, verse, or Proverbs 29, 18, I think. Let me see where there's Proverbs 29, 18 it says uh proverbs 29 18 say where there's no revelation people cast off restraint but blessed the one who heeds to the wisdom to who heed to the wisdom instruction so uh who cast off restraint they walk without a direction restrain you are restrained you're confined in your own confinement then you come out, you walk in your own way. You don't have less train. If chicken are not restrained, they walk everywhere. They have to be put in a pen. You cannot leave your chicken everywhere or your sheep. You must put them. You must guide them. When people have no direct revelation of the true word of God, they walk aimlessly without direction. So when the woman says, I am the husband and a man of this family, there's no order anymore. So now it's to bring man to help in the house and sleep with that man just to help in the house. Children has no father. They don't have a father figure. Then the curse of God starts coming. There is no order of God. And the Bible says any causing factor who make children with the river without a mother or father, who make marriage breaker, whether it's man or husband, you will suffer the love, of, the love of God. There is no rest for the wicked. And none will go unpunished. Anybody will do evil, not only in marriage. The Bible says those people God put together, let no man put asunder. That implies even to the spouse themselves. You voted, you vowed and said, I have walked and walked in the whole world. I have never seen a woman like this. A man like this. And you know. And you know you are here to get children. You are here to use this man to get a Canada paper. You know, and heaven was watching. 
There's no rest for you. You have money, you will not be happy. You have asset, you will not be happy. Especially if there is children. Does God say, I hate divorce. Because of what happened. Children who are right to be the children of uh, the people, citizens of tomorrow. They have no values. They became not people, not uh, people who are problem solver, but dependents. Because they were not taught how to cope with life and how to solve their life problem. Because they lack that kitchen, training kitchen of husband and, and, and wife. Husband and, and wife. So, this is the word of God that you must pray. Don't just marry. Because your wife cheated you, your husband cheated you. And then you marry to, to pay me the other one. There is nothing like revenge. Revenge is for God. I will revenge. I will, even during the court day, I will come with, a, with a, my own girl or my own man so you feel the pain. Not knowing that person who, who will finish you where you are remaining. When you don't seek God guidance. Don't just make decision. The Bible says, acknowledge me in your, your ways and I will direct your step. If you married somebody genuinely and he took you for a lie, just rely on Jesus and see the wonders. What God is going to do? If you did something right and somebody cheated, just stick on Jesus and see the wonders. Look at Joseph. And even the Potiphar wife cheated on him. Look later, he became the leader of the whole nation. Do not get discouraged. The Bible says God can never leave you. No seed of God will ever be lost. They thought they have lost Daniel. They have lost Joseph. They have lost Jesus. They have lost John the Revelator. They have lost the saints in slavery in Egypt. They have cast the children of Israel. None of the seed of God was lost. And God cannot use you to use all of your money, billions, spend time applying application, see somebody are blown, and this person come and leave you, and you stay in God, and God leave you. God cannot ever leave you. Why you need to marry to pray? I've seen so many people, even white people, they are cheated for marriages for papers. Then after these people get papers, you wonder, they may not even leave you, but when you see there is nothing, and if you stay there, you will never help yourself. Others were left. Because they are after paper. Others, they may not tell you the, I was for papers or citizen, but you just see it doesn't work. There is nothing. I don't see this woman anywhere. I don't see this man anywhere. Because he was not coming for you. He was coming for citizen paper of, 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 of Norway, of Denmark. I had a last mother, and I was feeling like crying. A woman giving testimony on Facebook, on YouTube, that I was waiting for that white man to die. I married her, that white man, so when he died, I take the house. Guy more than him. And I'm feeling like crying. And see how many, how many people are cheated, both men and women. Not only women, men are cheated, or both, even women. I've seen, I saw a woman also in the devil of nation cheated. And this person was resident. When he, he got to his resident, he did not want to know whether they are kids he, they had with this woman. He went away. Why you need to pray for the spouse of your children or yourself. If you are left by spouse, don't just marry. You must listen to God. In fact, the Bible says don't marry. But I think some people listen this way. Instead of me burning with the desire, why don't I marry? And instead of, but even if you think like that, you want to marry, you have to be careful. Don't just marry. It's not every man, not every woman you can marry become at better than the other one. I have my friend, we are working together. Even in Australia, I have friends we used to work together in Sydney. He married a white lady. Then he, they divorced. He married his own person from a, a lady from a country. Now he speak is single. That man is single. And now maybe paying child support for the first children with the white woman. And now child support for the woman from the same country. You become a slave forever. 
So this message, why I speak more on bachelors? Because people who marry, they say, I know now, but sometimes they still make wrong decisions. People who hide in a mask until they get what they want. Others, they want you because you have papers. Others want children because they are aging. While they are genuinely they want to get married, but the drive is children, children, I am aging. Some people are genuine, don't get me wrong. They are genuine, they want to get married. But the drive is children, I'm aging, I'm reaching 45, I'm aging, I'm aging, I'm aging. So there is not lead, I need my own man. I need my own man. It's just, I need a man. Not my man of James 1.17, true man from God. Not man from God. A man to marry who need marriage. That's why people go even to, to, to dating site. If you go to dating site, you must pray God to lead you to the right person. The idea is whether you get a woman on the dating. We have even Christian dating site where you, you, you can find somebody because there is it's a pool. It's a pool of people who want to get married. But remember, there is a lot of cheating online. People have been killed. People masking, they want to marry, but they are after, they are criminal. Everything is loophole. Others, they are not even Christian. They want to just to sleep with you sexually, pretending they are in a Christian dating site. And just want a woman somewhere in desperate to get married just to sleep with that woman. Just to sleep with that man or use that man for money. I spoke the other message as Spirit of God was reading about vulnerability. How certain attackers by the needs, desire, the needs, a dire needs. I need to get married. So I have to go to a Christian dating website, a Christian, a Christian dating website where there is a pool of Christians who want to get married. Then a criminal go there and pretend and say, even I don't think I'm a Christian. And he's after getting you for sex. And he'll pre-cheat you. And some men have high skill of cheating. And you are left with two children, three children, and the man go away. Then you live single forever with the children. People, weakness, desire, needs. Money will make many people worship devil. Desire to marry make many people be given children by men. Poverty make many people have children because they are given, especially long time people are given uh, like, a, like a cake. A little uh, young girls who are poor girls, they are given cake to sleep with them. Poor girls who did not go to school. They are left with the children because they don't have money, they need food. There's a time in Kenya, uh, p- uh, police, it was so, Somalia, there was a lot of famine. So if you give a police officer food, he give you bullet, he give you gun. It's the need. The Somali, Somalia, there was a lot of famine. So the police and army, if you give them food, they give you gun. That's why there's a lot of gun in northeastern Kenya. It is that need. The enemy use the vulnerability, the weakness. Jesus was hungry. Change this stone to be bled. As I was hungry, give me your inheritance. I give you this nice meat. Samson, he was weak in the bed of sexual. Men are weak in the bed. Woman is very strong. Men feel very weak in presence of a woman, especially in bed, in sexual bed. Samson maybe was put in a, in a lap of a woman. Tell me, please, please, I love you. And kissing the man. Oh, kiss me. I love you, my love. My honey, tell me, where is your power? Where is your power? Where is your power? And he's carousing the man. And he romantic the man, not knowing this woman is selling him to the enemy. He says he's in the hair. Then he was sold to the enemy. The weakness of sex was used for Samson to be sold to the enemy. Weakness of sex on men, on women. Many men have been robbed. Asset, property, not helping their family. And they are kept by a prostitute somewhere who they are very, prostitutes who are very highly profiled prophecies. They treat them. They know what men like. They boil them water. For when they come in, they wash them. They, they do whatever. Men like, what, they use all the skill. Then the, the man, he buy the woman a plot. No money for the, his family. Just because of the weakness of sexual need. Poverty has made many and may make many worship the devil. 
Antichrist will use the idea of money. He has power of the money, so people can worship Satan. You must make a decision to marry when you hear the voice of God. You must not marry just to marry. You must not marry any person. You must not marry anybody. You must not marry any man. You must pray for your children. Pray for your children, even the career they will study. Pray for your children in their growing. Everything is spiritual. You must put your children in the hand of God. It is God who guides us. Everything is spiritual. There is nothing good that God say, don't do this. Don't do, do those shall not. The Ten Commandments. There's nothing God prevent us. Where sometimes our body feel weak. Everything we are told. We tell our children, don't eat sweet. Don't watch game every day. Don't watch the game whole night. It's time to sleep. Everything God say, don't, don't, don't. There is a reason behind it. We must listen to the voice of God. We must listen to the voice of God. We must listen to the voice of God so we can get what belongs to us, whether it's job, whether it's a place we need to go, whether it is a job we need to do, whether we need to change career, whether whatever we want to do, we must seek God direction. Because everything is spiritual and guided by God. Everything is spiritual. You must know that everything is spiritual. So many have fallen as we started this message saying, my people perish because they don't know. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. My people are lost because they don't know. My people were cheated in marriage because they did not know that it's not every man you can marry. Many people fell because they didn't know that not every man can be a man of your family. Not every person can become your wife. Not every car you can buy is a car. Many people bought wrong cars because they were cheated by the body. Not knowing some car look good, but engine is not good. Some people look so beautiful, especially women. Ah, women. Our women. Women, sometimes they look so attractive, I tell you. And women kill men, I tell you. Men, they are affected by eyes. And men need to be careful. So many men make decision of marriage because of the outlook of the woman. Woman can be cheating because God created a woman to be a, a, a something of attraction to man. So men can love their wife, not even to love the women. It's not men to love their to love women. Of course, you should love everyone with the love of Christ, not to hate people. But I mean, uh, relationship, love of marriage, love of real love. We talk of marriage love. Men, they are affected by women so much. And uh, uh, men are affected by how women look, the beauty of the woman. A man can see a woman and plan marriage that and that and that time, just seeing a woman once and plan for marriage just because of how the woman look, the shape, the, the, the hair, the appearance, the shape, especially the shape, uh, the face, your appearance, the voice. Uh, there is a pastor in Nairobi called uh, Apostle John Kim, uh, Benson Nganga. P Benson Bishop is the Bishop Harrison Nganga. He say a man can see even a ma a, a, ma a, wo a woman, just a, a, a poor girl, a poor woman wearing slippers and he doesn't have shoes, the, the clothes are tattered. And it's a rich person and marry that girl because of he's seeing very beautiful. So men need to be careful how they make decision on marriage. Don't just make this job because of woman outlook. As Paul was telling women, it's not how you look, it's your insideness that work for God. Paul told the women, I think in Timothy, that it's not how you look, you, you beautify yourself with peace and good clothes and you think God like you. It is your heart that God look. Somebody saying, God, I'm singing and coming to sing the true heart of worship where God look inside the heart, what, how things will cry. God look at inside. Jesus said, disciple, you are saying disciple did not wash their hand. It is not washing hand. It is that it come from inside. That it come from inside. What are you cooking in your heart, in your mind? Are you planning to murder your husband? Are you planning to kill your wife? Are you planning to rob your brother-in-law? 
That's what make you dirty and will make you go to hell. Jealousy. That the Bible says, Jesus told his disciples and Pharisees, inside the heart of men and their mind, there is a lot of murdered desire, immorality, fornication, jealousy, selfishness. These are these that called the number of Satan of sin. Nobody who do this will enter to heaven. Don't just marry because you are aging. Don't just marry because you are left by your spouse. Don't just marry because it is time to marry. Don't just marry because you are a private visa and you want to last quicker and get somebody from your country and you are there for three months to get a wife. You are left by your wife or you are marrying fresh or has, you, are marrying, uh, you are left by your husband or you want to marry the first time. You apply visa. I've seen so many people cheating in, in visa, visa. And you rush to your country. You mean I saw another man who married. His marriage or, or did not work and they even bought a house. He went to Kenya I think, for a few, I think, a year to look for somebody to marry. When you do such things, you must be careful. Don't just marry because you are constrained in three months to be in your country to look for somebody. People hook to you because of Australia, Canada, America, Russia. Not because they love you. Not because they are your key. Why you must pray? Because this is the heart of the message. And we are going to continue this message. I have seen and you know and you know. Nothing to tell you about testimony. You know that person who was killed by her spouse or his spouse. I give few examples and you already know yourself. Many examples you know about marriage that have led many people into problems. I know a man, they couldn't work. They had a lot of problems in the marriage two years ago in Kenya. And he told his family, I'm going to kill all of you. You have wife and children. So they ran away. Then uh, the woman could not be stand living alone. They, they told children, can you call your dad and say, if you come, will you kill us? So the children called their father. If you come, dad, will you kill us? No, come. They went, they were killed all of them. I saw a doctor in Kenya. Just because a wife is going abroad to study, he killed himself and he had a job, he had a good job. He injected himself poison and killed all the children. I saw another person, another last year, he fell himself in a big grief and with, the, with his own daughter. Leaving his wife mourning, he killed himself and he didn't go him by himself. Also killed the baby. Long, long number. Long number, people who are sick. The Bible say, and I was, this word was going away and it has come back. And I say now it come that the normal people are normal read by the Spirit of God. And the Bible called them that the fear of the Lord, I think it's Proverbs 19. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Those who fear God have wisdom. Fear of God is obeying God. Fearing God is following the Bible. Fearing God is Having the values of God, you cannot plan murder. You cannot hide kids from another spouse. That is not fear of God. That is satanic field. You are in certain field. You are not in God. You have certain spirit. If you have fear of God, you cannot hide kids from their daddy or from their mother. That in the, uh, you, they will hide the kids, they forget you. When they grow, they will not remember you. The fear of God. It's the beginning of wisdom. When you have the fear of God, you have the spirit of God, and you cannot do wrong things. You cannot make become hard right now in marriages. Even if you think you can cope, you will not become hard right now in child upbringing. You will not be playing system of government and cheating government and law system just to benefit from your spouse using your children. Proverbs 19 say, the fear of God. Proverbs 19. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So when you fear God, you obey God. When you fear God, you live holy. When you fear God, you follow the Bible in terms of sexual relationship with your spouse. The Bible says the spouse should not deprive each other even in sexual relationship. Don't even fast. But people say they are children and we can't do sex every day. They are long. They don't know the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. The view of God, you will follow the Bible in children are bringing. 
You will follow the Bible. You follow the Bible in everything you do in the light. You weigh everything in the light of God. Why people murder other? You wonder why did these people are Christian did did not work this marriage? They are Christian. You need to marry people who fear God. People who fear God cannot plan murder. He was a Christian, but he murdered his husband. He cheated and his husband is in jail or his wife. He cheated him for visa. People who fear God has humanity. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Understanding what? The word of God. What does the God say? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Which wisdom? The wisdom of knowing what is the will of God for your family. What is the will of God at your work? What is the will of God for your husband? What is the will of God for your family? For relationship? What is the will of God in life? What is the will of God in relating with the people? So we must play, we get to the normal people who have the spirit of God. People who have values. People who cannot do things like murder, see officer, they cannot do inhuman things because they have the spirit of God. The Bible says the spirit of God is specific. If somebody does not give you peace in the house, there is no spirit of God there. A true spouse that comes from God should have the spirit of God. Spirit of God is peaceful. It is loving. When you love, you must give time to your husband. Time to care. Time to clean the house. Time to clean the toilet. Time to do housework. Not living for you become parasite. The one spouse has to do everything. You are a dependent. You are a parasite. You have to do everything for me. You don't have love. Love is giving you even your time to work for your family. Galatians 5.22 NIV Bible 20 say the fear, the spirit of the spirit is love. If you have the spirit of God and you are genuine, you say you are Christian, you must have love, joy, peace, perseverance, kindness, goodness, fruit, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Again, it says there is no rule. Those who belong to Christ, sorry, I wanted to leave there. But if you have the spirit of Satan, this is what happened. The Bible says, Galatians 5, 19 to 21. The act of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fate of rage, selfish, selfish ambition, dissension, function, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, I, as I did before, those who do things, Things will not inherit the kingdom of God. We must pray to get the spouse we are given by God. This is part one of the message. And we continue with this message. As the Spirit of God read this lead us why we need to marry to pray we get the right spouse. Don't just marry. Don't just marry. You cry. Many people have realized later when it's so hard to recollect, it's better if I had lived single. Because they marry long number. Others did not have time to say that. They were killed. Others have, have raped in prison. They were, they, you marry somebody who has satanic power in the to cheat system. Many even did not have time to say, I wish I knew. They were killed. Like I said that lady as we're starting this message. You need to know only one person. And I finish by reading that verse as we finish. As we finish part one of this message. Uh, that is the book of James 1. I think I had read it before. I read it. Sorry, I had read it, but let's read it again as we finish that. A true gift come from Jesus. James chapter 1 verse 17 says that. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming down from heaven. This is the NIV Bible 2011. Every good gift. Every good and perfect gift. Whether it's a wife. Whether it's a husband. Whether it's a job. Whether it's a praise. Whether it's anything you are praying for. Come from above. Coming down from Father. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming from the Father of heavenly life. Who does not change like shifting shadow? 
God cannot give you a husband who will later kill you. God cannot give you a woman who will later hide kids and prevent you to exercise your right of your children. Every child has a right, 100% for both spouse. Even the government of man know that. A spouse, your real spouse, cannot hide kids or prevent you to have time with your children. Cannot. Either it's a man or a woman. Cannot prevent you to, to enjoy and be what you are created to be. If you are a pastor, if you are instrumental in the church to support the God work by praying instrument in the church, you are a leader to lead the church, you are a pastor, you are a, a soccer prayer, you are a motivation speaker, you are a singer. I said there is a singer in Kenya, he could not be let to sing by his spouse. He married the wrong spouse. If you pray, you get a spouse who let you to be what you were created to be. Whether you are a chemistry teacher, you are a doctor, you are a, you are a pilot, you are a professor, you are a book writer, you are a singer, you are a pastor, you are you will be learning ministry. God says that you let you do it and support you and in the fulfillment of the word of God that every one who get a good wife get a blessing from God and a favor. This is the not every wife that you are a wife. Oh you get a wife you are blessed. Oh I will look for a wife. No you have to wait for your own wife who let you to be what you are created to be. This is the word of God that the true wife True husband, true job, true place, true area, true anything you are praying for, true car, car true house, come from God. May you be blessed as you purpose to follow God's direction. You must hear the God voice, still the voice of God. May you be blessed as you plan to be blessed by this word and as you purpose to live by God's will so that you will not fall. That People are lost because they don't know. My people are lost because they don't know. My people fail because they don't know. If you know the truth, you will not fall. You will not be made jail. You will not be in jail in marriage. Jail. Jail. You are put in jail. Of things that control you. If you pray God, you will be free. You shall know the truth until you set you free. That people are lost, they don't know. May you know the word of God so you not be lost. Either in marriage, in life, and in heaven destiny. Hallelujah. May you be blessed.